we are brothers and sisters in Christ as we are reflecting on our journey towards the birth of Jesus, towards the crib. As we are preparing and we are on the 11th day today, to reflect on the infancy of Jesus and infancy of the church. You know how they are interconnected. Infancy of Jesus we see in both Luke and Matthew. But let's focus on the infancy narrative of Luke. And the other side we see the infancy of church in the Acts of the Apostles, also written by Luke. If you can see a common line running between them. First, we have the power of the Spirit working. It is through the power of Spirit that Mary is conceived. And here, it is the power of Spirit at Pentecost we see working in the church. Then, we have a foundational event which is found in Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 7. The foundational event which recollects all the narrative way in which the Lord is working. And here Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 13 speaks about. Then the word event happens. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 20. And then Acts chapter 2 verses 14 to 26. There is a prophetical community again, Zechariah prophesying. And this side, we have the prophetical community again in Acts chapter 2 verses 5 to 13. There is a celebrating community, Luke chapter 1, 46 to 55, 68, 69. Then Acts chapter 2 verses 11 also speaks about the celebrating community. And the end, the last statement of Luke in the infancy narrative, Luke chapter 2 verses 40 to 52, speaks of the growth. Same, even in the Acts, you have about the growth of the church, the last statement on this. Henceforth, power of the Spirit, foundational event, the word event, and the prophesying community, celebrating community, and growth. Why am I bringing both these things again together? That is the birth of the Messiah and birth of the church. Because it is through the church that the Messiah is continuing to work. Going to church, being a part of the church, being active in the church is not an activity. It is the event of my life, the work of my life, the purpose of my life. Because you look at the parallels, how, how close they are connected. Jesus, the word, Jesus, the salvation, who works through the church today. It is in the church that we receive his body, we receive his word. We receive Him. It is through the church. He communicates His will, His desire, His dream, His wish for us. It is through the church that we are filled. It's worth how many of us are Christers, Christmas, Easter, Christians. Christers, Christmas, Easter. We are seen in the church. How many of us are Sunday Catholics? Only on Sundays. We remember God. Church is not a place. Church is a reality. And the reality is me, is we, is us. We are the church. Henceforth, one great thing the Lord is going to speak to us today is this. The power of the Spirit is working in the church as it was working at the birth of Christ, as it was working at the birth of the church, it is working today. The event of Christ, the word of Christ, the prophetical work of Christ, the celebration and the growth is happening even today, now and here. 
Henceforth, let us not reduce the church to to few liturgical activities. They are not liturgical activities. They are life giving events. Every mass is not an activity. It's an event. It's a celebration. It's a prophecy. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Take it as a prophecy. So it is a command. You are supposed to go. You are going in peace. That is a prophetical word. Every word. And also with you. Rejoice. Rejoice. Lift up your heart. We are lifting them. Are you lifting? It's not empty words. It's a celebration. An event. So therefore, if you want Christmas to be meaningful, let us make our liturgical celebrations meaningful. Our idea of the church meaningful. Then you see how Christ will be, be, will be born again and again in you. Amen.